In this lesson, we'll take advantage of your basic knowledge of fractions that you know already and see how you can apply it to something in real life like a tape measure. All right, so if you have one around, you might take a look at it and grab one. And what I have here on the screen is uh, one little segment of a tape measure from zero to one inch. And your tape measure might look exactly like this with a zero there and a one here at this side. And you'll notice what you won't see all these numbers here unless you have a special tape measure, but you'll see all these markings along the way. And they can look a little tricky, but we're just going to, we'll just check it out. So half of the way between zero and one inch on your tape measure is the one half mark because it's one half of the way to the one inch locations. It's just the fraction, one over two, because we've split the tape, we split the one inch section into two parts. So there's, this would be one half and this would be one half. And the way you identify it on your tape measure it is, if you notice, it happens to be the longest line in between. All right. And then let's go to the next shorter slide. The next longest line or is at this mark right here. And let me show you, go down here. And that is at the three quarters mark and the one quarter mark. And those fractions, that's the fraction one over four, one fourth, and that's three over four or three fourths. So in this case, what's happened, you, the one inch length has been divided into four equal parts. There's one part, there's two parts, there's three parts, and there's the fourth part. And so the, that's why the fraction is a fourth, and that would be one-fourth of the way along the tape measure. This would be two-fourths of the way, though you indicate it as one-half. Two-fourths is the same as one-half, and three-fourths of the way is located here, and four-fourths would be the same as one, would be in that location. All right, and then you can see it gets split again. The next, the next line, which is a little bit shorter, is at the one eighth location, and this is where you're dividing each section into eight parts. So there's one eighth, and there's two eighths, and three eighths, and four eighths, and five eighths, and six eighths, and seven eighths, and eight eighths is equal to one. But we, in this case, you would call this one eighth, but here at two eighths, you, it's the same as the fraction one over four because one part out of four is the same as two parts out of eight, and you can verify that one divided by four is zero point two five, and two divided by eight is also zero point two five. And there's three eighths, and here's four eighths in the same way. You could do four divided by eight is equal to zero point five, and one divided by two is equal to zero point five. But these are the numbers that are used on the uh, on a tape measure, and the last, the smallest one is for one sixteenth of an inch, and so it's divided in. You'll find there's sixteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way out to sixteen equal parts if you divide it by sixteenths. All right. So if you want to read a tape measure and you something is of this length, you would say it's five sixteenths of an inch in length. Over here, it would be five eighths of an inch in length. Here, three fourths of an inch and here one eighth of an inch, okay? So you, we, these are the fractions we use and they're really important, but now that you know how to use fractions, you're in good shape. All right, so the next lesson will continue on to the, uh, one of the next stories or another lesson that you may have learned about from the stories. And I'll see you then.